This is going to be horrifying. I played World of Warcraft yesterday. Like a lot, actually. I went and did their pre-expansion content. I went on and I was like, I want to understand why people are saying that The War Within is compelling. The reason why I find it to be compelling is because something I always loved about World of Warcraft was the story. Before Magni Bronzebeard turned into a diamond that kept saying the word wounds, the right wounds over and over again. And I was like, Jesus Christ, just shut up. Like, I hate it. I love the story of World of Warcraft. Champion, the wounds. Like, I hate it. Dude, I hate, I hate it so much. And you know what they did at the beginning of this goddamn story? You know what they did? They went and showed Magni Bronzebeard and how he'd been abandoned by Azeroth. And he was like, I don't care about any of this. I, I feel totally betrayed by Azeroth. I feel awful. And he was like all like tarnished and he looked like and he's like, look what she left me like. And he just feels awful. And it showed you that like his insane idealism led him into a bad direction where he was just being a fanatic for something that didn't make any sense that all of us hated. And I was like, that's great character progression. That's kind of cool. And it moved into a direction that I was like, this story seems way more compelling for me. I'm interested in seeing where they go. And this entire event, what they've been doing is they're making world quests basically around the map. And those world quests are memories from the rest of World of Warcraft. So like one of these could be like, how many of you guys ever played WoW and you had to do that quest where you have to get the boar liver and the boar liver just never drops? Like every one of the boars just has no liver until one of them finally does. There is a world quest that is this and it's called like the hyper pristine giga liver or some stupid shit. And everyone goes there and kills all of the boars until someone gets one and then everyone wins. And when it spawns, like when it gets it, like every time you kill a boar, it'll be like no liver or wormy liver, gross, or like all this kind of shit. And then when someone finally finds it, it spawns a liver that flies up into the sky and it's golden and like spins around and has like particles and, and then everyone wins the quest. And then everyone gets rewards and you move on to the next quest. They're making fun of all the ridiculous moments. There's actually one that's like Tarn Mill versus South Shore, which is cool. And you like go out there and you kill a bunch of NPCs. There's um, one where you go and fight Hakar just out in the open world. And all of them are colored like, like the Azeroth, Azerite color where it's like golden blue, where it's like egg yolk, you know? So like shows me very clearly that they're caring about the story and they're actually interested in not just the most bombastic moments from the history of WoW, but the ones that as a community we enjoyed. The nostalgia that actually mattered to the community. The hogger with the undergeared effect, exactly. So hogger, you can actually fight hogger and he gives you a, a debuff called undergeared and you have to fight other monsters while you're fighting the boss to level up because you're doing quests while you're fighting the boss so that you can be fully geared to fight him. And it's just like, it's cool because it shows you that not only do they understand that Hogger was interesting, but they understood why it was interesting to the community. They did the research to make sure that if they were going to do a nostalgia thing, that they did it correctly. And if you have a dev team that is going into this with that in mind, that means it's going to be good. And I think that that's a good thing like for the game. And I, it shows me that I, I can be interested in this without feeling shit. I was incredibly surprised because I was like, oh, look, it's going to be a nostalgia event. Very cool. You know, yeah, F off. I've been on the fence and now you got me buying more within. Yeah, I'm going to play it. Um, I need to find a raid team because I used to be a mythic raider and I'm, I'm want to get back into that. I'm on the fence about playing my mage or my guardian druid. Also, by the way, I, my mage was only level 50 and this event, I got to level 70 in one hour. Do not buy a character boost. Just go do the event. Every time you finish one of the event mini quests, it's like a half a level. It's insane. So like, just go do it. Like there's, if you're going to play, go level your character. Don't buy that. Shit. There's no reason for it. It's even faster to level in Remix. I have to go check it out. I, I'm blown away by it, dude. It's completely insane to me. You want to know something funny? One of the things that I, I did as a raid leader, because I was a raid leader forever, all the way from Nax 40 up until like Legion, I think is the last time I raid led. The, um, the thing that I found that was very funny was a lot of players use add-ons because they see like the big streamers and, and you know, end game raiders using add-ons and they use them wrong. Many people that are at the top end, they use add-ons as a bonus on top of their already very clear understanding of the video game. They know exactly what they're doing. They know why they're doing it. And because of that, they use an add-on to amplify themselves. It's a bonus effect. Many new players don't have the understanding of the game that, that is required to do that. So they use add-ons instead as a crutch, where the add-on tells you how to play rather than you understanding that the add-on is there for extra benefit. They use it to be the whole game. And what I found was that players who are using add-ons in this way, which is the great majority, sucked ass. I banned add-ons in the raids. You know what ended up happening? We started downing bosses that we couldn't kill before because the add-on didn't tell me to get out of the fire. That was the biggest thing that I've learned through raiding and through being a raid leader, is that you need to make sure that the player has the core competency skills to effectively use the add-on, not just using the add-on. Main tank drama is bad in guilds. One of the rules that I always have is that the main tank can never be the raid leader, and neither of those people can be the guild leader. These three things need to be separated. 
If you don't separate these three things, you get big head syndrome instantly. When I was the raid leader, I did that as a mage. The reason why is because when you're a main tank and you're a raid leader, you can't see shit. You see the ass of a boss 99% of the time. It does not work. When you're a mage, you get to be very far out. And you can see the entire fight and you can see where everyone is and see if people are positioning correctly. You don't want your main tank to be a raid leader. You do not want that. So the main tank needs to be a completely separate person. When I raid lead, I'm a mage. Uh, when I'm main tanking, I'm main tanking. And as a guild leader, I will never do either of these two things. I will bring in other people to do that. They need to be separated. Now understand, this doesn't mean that it needs to be separated at all times. There are people out there that are really good at doing these things. There are very high-end players doing this. The average player is not a top-end player in World of Warcraft. The average player does not know how to handle the perceived authority that they gain by being a main tank, a raid leader, or a guild leader. And when you combine any of these effects, their head inflates to the size of the moon, and it becomes a massive problem for everyone else who just wants to play the goddamn video game. You gonna stream it? I might. There's an old joke that unless you're Asmongold, or, or like a very small group of people that stream WoW, when you stream WoW, you do that to retire as a streamer. Everyone, I am... Um I want to let you know that I'm retiring as a streamer and I'm converting the stream over to a World of Warcraft only stream. Thank you for your time. Order Alliance. Sorry, what? what is it? It's a really funny way to spell honorable kill. Ally, alliance. No, honorable kill. That's the word. You got to spell it right. For the horde, dude. 100%.